Well, what we have here is the wiring harness to the 92 to 96 Toyota Camry that you guys seen me cut out earlier. Well, probably yesterday. And I'm going to show you guys how to turn this into basically a harness that looks like this. So, I know this has been a long time coming and there's a lot of people that want to know how to make this. So, here's the tools I have. I have a pair of wire cutters. I have a pair of wire strippers. I have an X-Acto knife. Soldering paste, solder, shrink tube. I have red wire. I have black wire. And I have a propane torch. So the first thing we got to do is eliminate the wires. Now, I've built quite a bit of these, so I'm pretty good with how to do this. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. I'm going to fold back and cut away the ones I do not need. And I'm going to keep the ones I do need. So I've quickly folded over the ones and I've already lost a tool. There we go, I found my wire cutters. So I'm just going to cut away the ones that I don't need. So I'm not really sure on the best way how to show you guys this. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions asked in the comments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up to the camera as close as I can and try to explain it as best as I can. Okay. This is how it goes. Every wire going to this side is negative and every wire going to this side is positive. So these two main white wires with the red stripe are positives. These three blacks in a row with an orange stripe are all positive. The black with a red stripe is negative. The purple and the green Harley are negative. My dog's just chewing on a squeaker toy. So every other plug other than these ones that are cut that are sorry every other one that is not there is not needed. So I'll hold that there for a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all these together to a negative and I'm gonna put all these together to a positive. It's gonna be pretty simple and this is the first step. So with my handy dandy wire strippers, I strip the wire. You know, I was always like uh, the, the type of guy that had the old wire strippers, but these new ones, I really like these. These are pretty fancy, they're quick, they do a great job almost every time. So I'm going to do the positive first. So I have those five wires all stripped down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of wire and I'm going to make it about, I'm going to say 18 to 20 inches long. Mm, right about there. That's high tech measurement. I'm going to strip this as well. Let's get a nice little length. And I'm going to put all these together. Yes, stick it right in there, and twist them all together. Now you guys can use connectors, you guys can just twist them together and put electrical tape, but for me, I was actually selling these harnesses. So if I'm selling, a, sorry, if I'm buying a harness, I want to make sure all my joints are soldered so there's going to be no issue with it. And that's what I'm going to do. I solder all my joints because I know that if I bought a harness, I'd want it soldered, so I'm going to show you guys how I make it. I take a little bit of the paste, you guys probably pretty know how to solder. Now 
Now I am inside my house and this does have hardwood floors, so I'm going to put it over top of a cardboard box. That way if the solder drips, it does not damage my floors. Solder her up. There you go. Just as simple as that, all the positives are done. So let it cool down so you don't burn yourself while it's cooling. Let's do the negatives. So you got the three wires, you got the green, you got the purple, and you got the black with the red stripe. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a length of the black wire and I'm going to do the exact same as I did with the red wire. The only difference is I'm not going to cut the black until I have it soldered. Now the reason for that is, is because I want the, them to be the same length, they're a whole bunch of waste, but that's just me. You guys don't have to do it like that. Twist this together, just like so. Put my paste on there again. <coughs> no. <coughs> now you guys could uh, possibly say, to use the acid core, but I don't know, I'm inside my house, I'll use the, the normal solder. Sure. <coughs> I make them the exact same length, and I give them a cut, just like that. So now my two cords are the same length. The green, sorry, the red and the black. The soldering has cooled down now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder them up. I'm going to make sure all the wires are in there nice and tight. Nothing's going to come loose. And I'm going to electrical tape it nice and tight. The electrical tape acts as a barrier and stops it from uh, arcing out to each other. So the I find it, this is one thing you don't really want to skip on is the electrical tape here, especially on your positive. Your negative you can skip a little bit, but your positive is where you want the nice and thick tape. So now, the positive is done, go to the negative, do the same thing. We're not going to put as much on because it's the negative you guys don't need to. So now what I do is about eight inches down, I bare this wire up. Just like that. I just bared the wire and then I untwist it. Just like that. So now it's time for the plug that goes to the computer. Now believe it or not, you only need one wire out of this whole plug. <clears throat> that is the very top on the corner, orange and a black. So I've got it separated. I'm going to bring it closer, but just let me cut off all the other wires. I'm going to strip it. Let me show you guys what wire you need out of this. So, right there. You see the one wire right at the top, black with an orange stripe? That is the one you need. None of the other wires there are required to make this harness. Now this is positive. There's no negatives that go to this. So what I do is I take my knife, where I strip this red wire in the middle, and I jam it through, making a spot where I can jam that wire through. Twist it up, push it through, twist it up, just like so. I put on some more 
my putty. And then just put a little bit of solder on there. Just like that. Now I'm just going to let it cool down. While I'm letting it cool down, I'm going to clean up my paste because I'm only building one harness tonight. I'm only building the 92 to 96. I only had time to cut one out tonight. So I'll show you guys how to build the other ones another night. But this right here will work for any car, sorry, not any car, any four-cylinder Toyota Camry between the years of 92 to 96. She's cooled down quite a bit, so we're just going to throw some electrical tape on it now. Just like that. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty it up by taping it down all the way down. I'm going to strip up my ends, and then it's ready to be installed in the car. So, it's actually not that hard. Um, I figured now that it's been tested, it's been, I've had no complaints for a full year from about 100 people that have been running this harness, that it's time to give it away for free. So, this harness here, it it kind of makes it so the car runs better, I'd say. Well, maybe not better, maybe runs exactly like factory. But the real advantage of this is the stripping time. The, the amount of time that you save stripping your car because you can just cut all your wiring out is unbelievably incredible. Now, I did have red hockey tape. Here we go. Find the red hockey tape just makes them look better. Makes me find it better when I put it down in my workshop. But uh, you save so much time by just being able to cut out the entire harness. Sorry, cut out the entire dash, cut out the entire engine bay wiring. It, it saves unbelievable. And you know, if you hot wire directly to the, to the motor, you're not able to unplug it and bring it to the next car. The advantage of this kind of harness is when the car is done, you just unplug the harness and move it directly into the next car. See, I find it just makes the build process faster and the tear down quicker. The 3100 series that everybody's building these simplified wiring harnesses, it's, it's all to do with the motor, I find. I find they eliminate all the wires to the motor and it's it's nice it's nice not having a lot of motor uh, wires to the motor but it's not faster this here just makes this so much faster i know that you guys are all carving your luminas in the u.s but unfortunately up here in canada our rules are we cannot well most places and pretty much everywhere i run you can't carve alumina our rules are injected cars must stay injected there's probably a couple derbies i can get away with carving alumina but it's not worth it because they're far and in between. So just as simple as that, the harness is made, it's ready to install. So there's five positives and three negatives inside this clip and one positive, no negatives inside this clip. Oh, I forgot to strip those wires. So tomorrow I will go out, I will install this into a car, I'll throw a battery into it, and the fuel tank and the battery, sorry, the fuel tank and the starter are already hot wired, so I'll be able to get this car running on this harness to show you guys how to do it. I'll show you how to install it. I'll show you how to do whatever you guys want to do. If you guys want to, please feel like giving a like and subscribe. I have decided to put these things out there for free because everybody should know how to make them. Thanks for watching, guys, and thank you very much for supporting Zach's workshop. I'll see you back here tomorrow. This is your standalone wiring harness for Toyota Camry 92 to 96 four cylinders. See you guys back here tomorrow.